I like this. Look at all of you. Oh my gosh. Let's see. How is everyone doing? Holy cow. Koala 20. Thank you for the resub, man. I appreciate it. RG Games, RJ Games Ahoy. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Oh, I missed you guys. <laughs> well, I'm sold. I don't know what, what I need, but I'll take it. I love it. That's the best way to be, man. How's my audio? Everything sound okay? Let's make sure I'm actually got the audio set up correctly this time. So when I actually throw it up there. Yeah, that looks correct. Good, good. Yep. Alert box. I do want that on track too. Audio. Yep, good. Oh, yeah. Missed you too, man. Well, you're going to send me a DM or are you going to send Elmore a DM? See, that's the question. But yeah, it's been uh it's been a minute. I've been uh I've been pretty busy. So, Let's get the camera all set up, right? This one's going to be a little bit more chill today. Um, I might, I may or may not do some overclocking. I got a lot of stuff to go through, a lot of e a lot of mail to go through. Um, got a bunch of stuff over the last few days. I kind of wanted to just show you guys and stuff like that and talk about that for a little while. Maybe talk about what's going on in the world and we can kind of figure it out from there nothing special. I've, I've barely been able to stream it all lately and it's, it's good to be back though. It is definitely good to be back. Elmore. Thank you for the sub, bro. Appreciate it. Sound is good. Good. That's good to hear. All right. I look okay. I'm a little bit bright, but that's okay. I will live. All right. Man, I have exactly 199 followers. That is one followers, one follower off of 200. Maybe we can find some new people tonight. That'd be kind of cool. Who knows? I guess we'll see. I dig the coupon though. Anyway, so yeah, how have things been for everybody? I mean, I, I've been, as I said, I've been out uh, a lot of work stuff, been dealing with, and uh, been traveling a lot for work, and it's been pretty, uh, pretty hectic for me. Not in a bad way, just in a good way. Um, right before, uh, I'm not sure if I've talked about this really. I'm not sure if I've talked about this yet, but I, uh, I actually picked up a new job back in August and it's been, uh, it's been very, very, uh, satisfying and good. Uh, but it's also been keeping me very, very busy. So a lot of my stuff, um, has been, everything else has kind of been going to the wayside. Um, my work's been most important to me, uh, making sure that the folks that work for me, um, have the support that they need is the most important thing to me. And that is, um, that's, that's kind of what I've been going towards is just making sure that I'm doing the best for the people who I work for and, uh, the people who I work with on a regular basis, um, to, you know, make sure that they're doing well and that they're successful and stuff like that. So anyway, this is just water guys. Sorry. Nothing fun yet. We'll do that later. Hmm. Yeah. New things in the world. Um, well, work's been good. 
Uh, a lot of travel, as I said. I've been going out to New York about once a month or so. It's been... But it's been good. Anyway, yes, I did get some new hardware in. Um, actually, let me go grab some of that. I need to... I'm going to make a little pile here that we can actually go through. Uh, just give me a second. So this will be this will be fun. So that's that. Actually, have everything mostly together. So I'm just gonna clear that out. There it is. Awesome. Awesome. Found it all. Hey, Archon. How you doing, man? So, let's see. New things I'm working on. What's going on? All right, let's start with the pile. I've actually got a pile of stuff here I kind of wanted to go through and just kind of show you guys and talk about. Uh, I'm really happy with all this stuff um, that I've gotten. Just kind of wanted to show you guys and hope you guys enjoy it. So, let me switch my camera. As you can see, I've got a bunch of stuff right here. I'm looking forward to going through and some toys. It's going to be nice. I actually got a letter from someone I actually wanted to share. That was kind of cool. So, uh, let's switch this up a little bit. Oh, that view looks good. I like that. Okay. So, I'm going to move my camera out of the way a bit. Move my mouse out of the way so we can actually look at things. And first of all... Got a letter. Hey, Auntie Tux, love your content. I hope these items make it. I can't actually read that word because it's actually torn. Make it so that you can make more interesting content. Have a nice, nice day learning. RJ, RJ Games, uh, oh, he sent me uh, some stuff that I'm looking forward to playing around with. Uh, he sent me. A Xeon uh, Phi coprocessor. It's actually a CPU and a PCIe slot. Um, it has, let's see, which one is this? This is the 5110P. So let's look this one up really quick. Let me actually see if I can share that out. Hold on. Gosh darn it. I got too much stuff on my desk now. <laughs> Let's throw this back here. Hey, who needs a network switch anyway, right? Wi-Fi all the way, right? Oh, it's not showing up. Hold on. Let's see. Where's that view? I don't have it anymore. Oh, I'll be darned. Okay, well, let me just add it really quick. Is that a window? That's add. Oh, actually, see if that'll work. Does that do a thing? Nope. Yeah, there we are. Look at that. So Xeon Phi coprocessor, processor, 5110P. Let me make that a little bit bigger so you guys can read it. This is actually a, let's see. It's created in Q4 2012, 22 nanometer process as 60 cores with a base processor frequency of 1.05 gigahertz, 30, uh, 30 megs cache, 225 TDP. It's got eight gigs of RAM on it. 
with 16 memory channels, 320 gigabytes per second, and ECC. PCI Express 2.0, and just a bracket. No bracket or anything. But the cool thing about this is it's actually a... Hey, Theraflu, how you doing, man? Holy cow, I looked up and saw all these people. Let's see, who's all here? GameFu, 20, uh, GameFu 21, only usable under Linux. Oh, darn, that's literally what I do for a living. I literally have a Linux tattoo. Let me turn that off really quick. That's right on top. Yeah, I literally have a Linux tattoo, so I'm perfectly fine with just using Linux. 240 threads, yes. But this is going to be fun. I don't really care what it does. I just want to play around with it and have some fun with it. This will be interesting to see what it actually does. But yeah, kind of fun. Oh my gosh, you're still packing peanuts stuck in it. Aye. So when I got this, it was in a box full of packing peanuts, and uh, I absolutely love packing peanuts so much. This thing's smexy. Look at that. You know what? We could probably break this down. Check it out on the inside, see how it looks. Let's do that really quick. Let me get my handy dandy screwdriver set. I haven't actually opened this thing up yet, so I don't even know how it looks on the inside. So this will be interesting to see. Uh, let me put your letter. I'm going to put it back here. All right. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so let's take this off. So the things I noticed right away is it's definitely, it doesn't actually have a mount, uh, any sort of like mounting bracket on it. So, which is fine. I mean, honestly, I'll be, if I'm going to be using it, I'll probably end up using it on a bench anyway. So that's fine. Let's see. Get all the screws out of here. Can take a look at the mounting bracket on it here in a minute. The cool thing is, is that I actually have a mount, a GPU mount that'll probably work on this. So that's kind of cool. Shy2411, thank you for the follow. You got me my 200th subscriber, thank, or 200th follower. I appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. I wish I had 200 subscribers. That'd be awesome. All right. Got that. I need to get my... I actually have a, a, uh, a mod mat sitting over there that I need to get on this desk. I think it would... But that requires me to actually take everything out of my desk. Yeah, packing peanuts are the devil. I'll say it. So we got this part. How does this come apart? Does it just peel? Let's see. Oh, I don't even know. Oh, looks like there's a little thing right there. Let's try the other side, maybe. Are there any other ones here? So it looks mounted to that. All right, let me get something to budge this up with a little bit. Pretty sure I got some good stuff here. Oh, let's see. Holy cow. Pocket Tank, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Yeah, I just want to... I don't want to break it before I actually play with it. I'd rather break it doing something fun, not just taking it apart. So I'm going to take my time on that. Let's see. Throw that there. That's just a qualification sample, nothing special. That's a QS I got from... Yeah, this will work, I think. Just peel it. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, yeah, there we are. Oh, those are... Wow. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. That was... That's paste. That's that like thermal paste and it's hard as a rock all right so i think screwing it on on the other side i wonder 
It's like thermal paste everywhere. It's like thermal pad paste. I don't know how else to describe it. Wow, it is... Holy moly. That feels very, very tight in there. I'm going to have to get something a little bit tougher than this. I might actually have to pull out a screw. Oh, nope, there it goes. There it goes. Got it. Ah, ah. Oh, that thermal paste. Oh, look at the thermal compound. That is not... That is not a flat IHS at all. Holy moly. Hold on. You guys need to see this because that's great. Oh, man. That thermal, thermal, oh, man. Look at that big old smudge right in the middle. That's definitely going to need a, I'm not sure if that's actually because of the actual, see, I'm not sure if it's because of the actual, um, the heat pipe here. Or the heat chamber, or the thermal, uh, the heat chamber here, or the vapor chamber here, or because it's actually just that bad. But I'll have to check that and take a look. Let me see if I got anything flat that I can use to check that with real quick. Yeah, I'll do that later. But yeah, this thing, this will definitely be fun. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, it's got a eight pin and a six pin. And looks like some sort of header over here. It's got a couple of different headers. It's got one here, a flash header here. I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to check. Oh, sorry, I'm not even showing it in the video. Let me do that. So it's got what looks like a flash header here. Oh, of course you guys can't even see it because I'm in the right spot. So hold on. Sorry, I suck at this apparently. Okay, so it's got some sort of like flash header right here. Has these four pins. I'm not sure if this is for maybe I2C. That'd be nice. Um, or maybe it's a fan header. Let's see. This is a... Nothing really interesting on the board. Oh, SM bus. Okay, so this is SM bus here. Okay. So that's good. Let's see, over on this side... I mean, God, they didn't even get it on this MOSFET at all. There's like, actually... Or this... Uh, this capacitor, there's like no actual thermal compound whatsoever on that on that capacitor. They just kind of just slopped it in there as sloppily as possible. Look at that. It's just not even, they didn't even bother. So I'll need to replace all that. Not a big deal. Chokes look good. This one's also not covered over here on this side. So that's okay. We'll have some fun with this. This will be interesting. This will be an interesting little project to see how we do with this. I'm looking forward to that. I mean, I'm going to have to clean it. I'm going to have to degunk it and repaste it and repad it and stuff like that. But yeah, that's a, that's a mess, man. I love these. How they just like, they just bother. They just built up. They just welded these pieces of like copper block together and just like welded them directly to the back plate to give it a little bit of thermal. Oh man. This is going to be interesting though, for sure. Make sure that's right. Yep, that looks correct. All right, let's put this back together and we'll figure it out. Not sure how much you guys care about watching me do this. Yeah, it'll be fun to figure out though. I think we should do that. We'll do that in a future stream. That'll definitely be interesting though. Because it looks like the mount. Let me see. I have this mount here. This is the one I made up for my 6900 XT. That's not big enough. Is that a Intel mount then? So that almost looks like a standard 1700 sized mount. Let me see if I got one around here. Or not 1700, uh, 1200. Let me see. So if that is, oh man, that's really close. Let's see. Let's pull all these out. Okay. Let's see, is that going to fit in there? That fits in there. Oh man, it's really close. 
Not quite. Does it have any other mount holes? Yeah. It's okay. It's really close. I could probably... You know what? This might actually be a good candidate for my vertical mount. Or my horizontal mount. That I was kind of thinking about doing with the uh, with my Strix before I completely lost interest in doing that. But that 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 could work. Man, this is gonna be neat. I'm looking forward to figuring this one out though. So let's put this in here. Let's put this in here. This one in here. All right, we're back together. Let's see, one, two. Let's tighten that one. Two, tighten that one. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight looks like it needs to be tightened. All right. This one's back together. I'm going to put it back here in the pile. The things that we need to go through. Next up, these. The... Card OC LGA 1700 hold down brackets. I actually was able to pick up two of them. One of them is going to somebody else in chat. Uh, uh, he is, uh, I'm actually, I actually got one for a friend also. But uh, this is actually a mount to replace the push, uh, the hold down for on an LGA 1700. So this will be actually be pretty darn neat. Let me see. I'm going to go to me. So you guys can actually see this. It's actually milled out of uh, aluminum. And then it's milled out of aluminum. And then it's a small little spacer. This feels like it's just a, just a plastic. It feels like a PLA, I think. It's a PLA or a PETG. I'm not quite sure which. Um, just quick 3D print, single layer. So it goes on. Kind of like this, and then you screw it down on top of it to actually hold your LGA 1700 down. Actually, it goes like this, sorry, to hold down your LGA 1700. So, uh, to get around the issues that the mount itself actually has, and we have one of these is for me, one of these is actually going to forks. Um, so I'll make sure to send that out after stream. Uh, let me don't don't let me forget forks. I need to get that to you. I'm just gonna throw it in an envelope and ship it to you. Next up, this is actually came from RG James uh, RJ Games Ahoy two. This is a R GTS two fifty one thousand twenty four megabyte graphics card. I've never actually owned one, so this is kind of interesting. It's an XLRite card. Don't really know much about them. But this will be fun to screw around with. It's got SLI on it. Uh, uses single six pin PCIe. I'm going to say it's probably Gen 2. I'm not sure. I don't know really much about them. Let's see. When was this manufactured? I can't see when it was actually manufactured. That's too bad. I was actually kind of hoping for that. I'm not going to break this one down because I know if I want to, if I start breaking this down, it's going to be a little bit of a mess. All right, let me scroll up. All right. Let me scroll up so I can actually see what I missed here. Oh, RJ, talking about that. You told me that's GPU, I'd believe you. Very cool. RJ, what's use purpose? Uh... Oh, and GPI with 100 mil rankings. I'm up at top. And setup was looking good, by the way. Thank you very much. Yeah, I did a little bit of tweaking to it specifically for... I I was thinking about doing overclocking tonight, but at the same time, I'm not sure if I want to overclock. I did get LN2, but I kind of want to just feel like going through stuff and just kind of chilling for a little bit. I mean, maybe I'll do an overclocking stream tomorrow. Who knows? Or maybe I'll do one on Sunday, or maybe I'll do one on Monday. Um, I've got the option now. I've got the hardware for it, and I've got got some projects that we can mess through mess around with and play through but I, I i'm not quite sure what i want to do yet so we're just going to ring with it love looking at these graphics cards yeah this one's pretty slick like i i've never actually i wasn't really into pc gaming at all during this period of time so it's kind of it's kind of nice at that point in time i was doing all server stuff and let's see 
I might have some stuff during that period of time. Like, let me look that one up really quick. That's art 250. 250. GTS 250 came out in 2009. So in 2009, I had, I want to say I had a 4770 around that time or 47, I want to say or 5770, something like that. I didn't really have anything. So, I mean, I could, yeah, I th I'm pretty sure I had a 5770 Radeon HD during that period of time. Let me just double check really quick. Let me just look at the card. Yep. That was the one I had. It was the, yep. The yep, 57, uh, ATI radio on 5770. You guys can actually see what I'm looking at because I suck at this. All right, hold on. Control C. Me show and tell. All right. See, now you guys can see what I was looking at. Okay, so this is the card I had when I was in that range. So that was about 2009. Yeah, I, um, I didn't even touch that. 7750, that's a sad-looking card. 5750, also a sad-looking card. But yeah, I definitely had the 5770. I know that one for a fact. That's probably actually in a case out in the garage. So maybe we'll try to resurrect that and see if it actually works on anything. That'd be kind of cool. All right, what's next? Let's go... Back up to show and tell mode. Let's put my screwdriver away. So put my toys away. All right. So next up, I actually got in Arctic, uh, Li Arctic liquid freezer Two um, LGA 1700 kit. Uh, the reason I got this was because I actually need it for, to uh, mount my liquid freezer to my, uh, my CPU. I fix it. Yes. I fix it. And let's see what's actually comes in the kit. It has a black plate. It's got new, new bolts, new wings on it, new O-rings. Everything looks different. Actually, the pass throughs are definitely different. Those are, I'm not sure if you can really see those. I'll pull it up to the camera in one second, but uh, these are definitely bigger than they used to be. So yeah, uh, these are shorter. These are definitely shorter than they used to be. Like I think the other ones, I think it, it looks, I'd say a good half centimeter, like shorter than the ones for the uh, LGA 1200s. Also, I think the LG, LGA 1200 ones were round, if I recall correctly. I'm not, I'm not, I can't hundred percent remember. But I, I dig the design and honestly, for free, I'm not going to complain. Free fitty always is always good. So, let's make sure I get all the parts. Yep, I do. And the plate. Let's put that away. I fix it. All right. Let's put this over here. All right. What do we got next here? This is. Oh no, we're not going to talk about that yet. We're going to leave those for later. Got this here tonight. Let's see. I uh, actually ordered these a while ago. Uh, just some uh, new thermocouples for my some K, uh, K type probes for uh, for a KTH. Uh, these are the variable resistors, or the that uh, or the variable shunt resistors that Elmar puts out. Let me actually pull one up, show you guys. It's actually just solders on, just like a resistor on it, and actually has a little pin out, so you can hook that up and you can actually control it. It's got a little uh, variable knob in there that you can actually use to control the Resistance of your uh, for your, uh, uh, of the uh, of the shunt uh, the shunt resistors that are actually on your GPU, and that's actually why I got it specifically so I can actually do this. 
yeah, it's a bit of an op unboxing stream for uh, forks. I'm I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do tonight, so I was kind of I was kind of in the mood to kind of go through this and you know just kind of go through some of the stuff I have. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually do some overclocking tonight. I might, probably, maybe we'll we'll play around, but yeah, who knows? And I know one dude who's been looking forward to seeing this, seeing me play with this. This my friends is the new Elmore hot controller. So this is the hot 300 controller. Let me actually hold that up so you guys can see it. It is much, much larger. Let me hold that up. So y'all can see this. It is much larger than the old one for sure. Definitely, definitely a little bit more beefy. Oh, it actually, Oh, it comes with the case. And it comes with the connector, a little connector wire, so it can actually hook into three pin because it doesn't use a standard three pin, which is fine. All the toys. Yay. This is going to be fun. This is actually, I like this a lot. It's going to be a bit easier to play around with than the, uh, than the old one. I dig it. Having a little bit of uh, protection is actually going to make me feel a little bit better on this one. Let's put it together. Let's do an overhead and let's kind of work through this. You know, this is my least favorite part though, is peeling stuff. Because I have no fingernails to really speak of, unfortunately. Because I, at a young age, began chewing mine. So, I have bad habits. I've actually been working on that a lot lately. Um, stopping chewing my fingernails. Mostly because I just kind of got tired of it. But it's good. Yeah, I really wish the old one had a, had a little case too, but I'm happy the new one does. Oh, the peel is terrible on this. It's not even worth, I don't even think it's worth listening to. You tell me, was that even worth it? Let me turn on the music. Hold on. Let me, let me kill the music for a second here. All right, let me let me see if the peel on this side's any better. All right, let's see if the peel's worth it. Was that worth it, guys? Was that worth the mute? You'll have to tell me. All right, so actually, let's throw the case on this really quick because I kind of. Dig the idea of doing this on stream. Maybe then we can kind of use this as a little bit of a how-to video. It was a disappointing peel, you know? It wasn't the sexiest of peels, but... I mean, you could say it wasn't very appealing. You can use that. So what is this? Why is it got a little... Oh, it's got a little switch on there. That's why. It's a little switch on that fella. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's do the bottom first. So let's set these up. So the big boys go on the top, obviously, because we need to clear that. So we'll do... You need to watch my meat paws put together things. This is, this is probably everybody's favorite thing, right? Watch me play with precision instruments. That's... Meat, pl meat paws plus precision instruments. You want me to get closer in, too? Hold on. All right. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Oh, no, that's as much as I can zoom in. Oh, no, there I go. Ha, ha, ha. Me plus, plus precision instruments. All right, let's do the back one here. Oh, that's gone forever. Oh, that's the half the half the fun of doing this stuff on stream, on stream here. <sighs> Didn't I already play this song? Or is this like just a different song that sounds exactly the same? That's just a different song that sounds exactly the same. All right. Very very fine 
screws on this though. All right, let's do this one. There's like M1.5s or M2s. I mean, I can check the threading on it real quick. But they are wee screws. Look at that. All right. Now, here I think it's going to be this one here. Yep. Called it. Let's tighten them all down. Good. Finger tight. That's good enough. Let's put the top plate on here. It's on on position or the one position. I'm assuming the on position is the one we want. Pop these little bad boys out here. Little nubbins in there. Say goodbye to the little nubbins. There we are. Goodbye, nubbins. I miss you. That doesn't feel right. That doesn't feel right at all. This side? Yeah, that side. That looks better. Look at that. I can actually look at that. I can actually get my meat palace in there. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Is that the hole's actually big enough? Oh, so they are M2s. Okay. Good, because uh, when I lose them, and inevitably I will, it's good to know what to replace them with. So, guys, they're M2 screws. Let's get that together. Awesome. Get this one down there. Good. One more. Look at that. Good, good, good. All right, good. Not quite tight yet, because I need to move it around to get the other corner. Good. Good. And how are the cats? The cats are doing great. Jordy is scheduled for his neutering on April 26th. And it can't come any sooner because he's humping everything. And that's not going to work. I need to use some flat ones. The feetsies, the feetsies might, aren't my favorite. Need flathead screws. Actually, let's see if I have any. Here's my M3 kit, not my M2 kit. Where's my M2s? Pretty sure I got an M2 kit somewhere around here. Ah, is this it? No, nope, that's magnets. How do they work? How do the magnets work? I don't know. All right. Told you guys I had a plan. Let's see if these are. Yes, these are the ones I want. Ha ha ha. All right. I'm going to take out these bottom ones because they kind of suck. Let's see if I can save that one. Yeah, they're both nubby. All right, I'm going to take out the top ones here. Well, I'm glad I checked. All right, so that's about six, five. Yeah, this will work. Yeah, it's about the same. So that's uh, M2 by 6. Yeah, I was right. M2 by 6. 
looks like. It's not tapered on one side, are they? No. Oh, that's much better. Much flatter. Okay, good. Well, I got to be jumping off here. I'm going to go meet the wife and have a late dinner. You have yourself a good night. You too, Megman. Thank you for showing up. I really appreciate it. All right. I like these screws better. These are going to work better. So um, I replaced the ones that came with the, I'm replacing the ones that came with the Elmar with the uh, M2x6s. Uh, just some flathead ones. Well, they're kind of tapered flathead, but yeah, whatever. They're, they're flatter. Because the little nubbins don't really fit on top of there. And it's nothing against, you know, not a big deal. This is an easy, easy hack, and I've got toys for a reason. Might as well make use of them, right? Uh, this one is on Amazon. I will create an affiliate link, and you guys can grab it. One second. Let me do that really quick. I will create an affiliate link, and you guys can look her up real quick. All right. Just give me one second. Screw kit. Here it is. Is this the one with the hex wrench? No, this is not the one with the hex wrench. Here we are. Here's actually the one I'm using. Create an affiliate link for this. Six bucks. Have fun. Use it, enjoy it, love it. But yeah, it's, it comes with M2.5s, M3s, and M2s. It comes with big heads and little heads on those, too. So pretty much everything you need to do more the smaller stuff. I absolutely love this little kit, though. I have, I have a few different types like this. And for some reason, this was not in my desk, and I'm not sure why. Because it usually lives right here on my desk, like right below here, so. Anyway. Oh, my camera's bouncing. Oh, where's my, where's my boy? There's my boy. Yeah, so it's got M2s, M2.5s, and M3s. And actually, that feels a million times better right there. Okay, so it's flat, so the nubbins should go on top of it, no problem now. Get that piece of glue off there. Oh, yeah, look at that. That'll do. Yeah, those nubbins look much better. The camera is rocking. Don't come knocking. Actually, I think it was because I did this. All right. So let's do this here. Put that on there. And three bumpins. There we are. All right, let's look at that. That is nice. That's the bottom side, top, back, front, all over. Only button that you have to worry about is that little switch. I2C connects here. Hold on. So, yeah, only button on it. There's a little switch right here, which is, I'm assuming, the on and off. Just like it was on the old one, where it says on and one. One is off, apparently. And then it's got a uh, three port for the I2C. Just hooks in like so. And you're able to be in your business. All right. So let's clean up after ourselves on this one. Let's go on to the next box. Actually, maybe I'll take apart, uh, maybe I'll open up one of the, uh, one of the other boxes there. I'm going to throw everything back in here. So I can deal with that later, because I will definitely be installing that and using that very, very soon. All right, put that down here. All right, and then... Oh, everybody's been looking forward to this one. The Hot 300. Is that an 8mm or... Five or eight. Yeah, it's thick. 
That's a thick boy. Boy, there's one and a half of them. All right, so it comes with one and a half. I'm assuming it's because it kind of, it's long. I haven't actually looked at this yet. Ooh, I get a black cable, and it's pre-threaded already. Oh, good. I'm looking forward to trying that out. I could keep my coffee warm with that. The pad your girl told you not to worry about. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, all right, I'll show you guys why I'm freaking out here in a second. Like, uh, so I just picked this up. Um, and that is a thick ass PCB. Like there's compare this to like an old hot. This is insane. Let's see. Where is the, is there a tear tab? Nope. No tear tab. Stab tab time. Holy crap. Wow. Was that three millimeters? All right. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get the light right on it so you can see the traces on this. So the traces seem to go, one goes here, one goes here, one goes here. Goes down and over to here. Okay. That's one, that's one. So around here's the four zones. One, two, one, two, three, and four. Goes around to there, around to there there looks like the other one goes over to here then over to here up here around yeah there's another one right there okay so let's take a look on the back it looks like oh it just winds back and forth through there winds all the way back and forth oh you guys can't even see it in the light hold on all right all right, so it winds through here, it winds through up here, winds through up here, and one winds through that here. It also winds up here near where the memory would be. So that's good. I like that. That's, that's going to be nice. And my question is, could you have possibly drilled more holes in the back of this? Holy crap. I'm just going to check, because this is set up for, well, it was, it was set up for my six. For my 6900 XT. We'll just see with this. Got hole spacing for that. One, two. Yeah, that would work with the 6900 XT. Nice. Okay, so we're definitely gonna try that out eventually. I think I think I think it needs more holes in the back of it. I'm not sure if you guys can see. But uh yeah, that, that definitely needs more holes. All the holes. All the holes, and then all the holes. And I'm assuming these are for thread ripper for us. Well, not maybe not thread ripper, but uh, definitely for X570. That's thick. I like it. I tried benching 26 F 2060 FE cold. Samsung men went terrible. <laughs> Wonder if the hot would solve that. Possibly. Um, I don't know anything about. I've never actually benched any of my 28, uh, any of my 2000 series. I should try that. Just never actually get around to it. Yeah, that's a boy. That is a thick boy. I may, if it were up to me, I'd probably go down. That's eight millimeter. I'm just going to compare. Where the hell is... Where's my calipers? Anything. Gosh. I don't know where my calipers are. Oh, they're there. Ah. All right. All right, let's zero that. Take that out. Oh, you guys can't even see. Hold on. Do this on camera so you guys can actually read it. it says 7.9. So, sorry, you guys can't actually read it. It says 7.9. So, cool. That's going to be fun. And I actually appreciate the black one instead of the white one. 
My only complaint is I wish it was a little bit longer, but, you know, that's fine. There's two 45 millimeters separately available for GPUs. Um, I am not lacking when it comes to thermal pads, so I'm not too worried about that. But, yeah, I would probably actually use three. But I could under, uh, just uh, deal with any clearance issues, personally. All right. All right, so these are the things I was actually kind of digging, and I figured you guys would actually get a kick out of these. So, um, I'll say Durbaro, Durbauer did something on these a while back. Um, Omar brought them to my attention, and I never played with them at all. Um, mostly because I was still trying to figure out how things worked with the uh, with the Elmar Hot, uh, actually just with overclocking in general. So I never actually picked any of them up. And then they went out of some stock, and then I saw Durbauer's video, and I saw how amazing they were. And I kind of regret it. But now, I have the opportunity to actually fiddle with these. So this little fella. There is no way you're, I'm going to be able to show this on camera, but it's a wee little shunt. Goes on there just like you would do a normal shunt resistor. And it's got one little pin that you, that you hook up right... Over here, that one right there, you solder this on there. And then you use this little knob, this wee little knob, to turn and adjust your re resistance. This is going to be interesting to uh, figure out for shunt mods. I'm actually kind of looking forward to fiddling, out, uh, fiddling with this. But I have eight of these, so uh, looking forward to the challenge of that one. That's going to be fun. Just wee little chip. Wee little chip to do silly things. All right. What else do we have? Oh, is that it? Oh, damn. Oh, well. That's fine. All right. Ugh. So, we got through the mail. Elmore's got lots of new toys out. It's pretty cool. Digging all this. I'm actually really digging the new toys. I, I think it's I think it's absolutely amazing. I think it's great that all this new stuff's come out, and it's a perfect time for it. All the new stuff's gonna be coming out pretty soon. Uh, we're right in the middle of uh, getting ready for a new cycle with GPUs. Looking forward to a new cycle with CPUs. I'm assuming that AMD's probably gonna be doing something that isn't stupid this year. So. I mean, I would love to talk about the 5800X 3D. Because um, I kind of hate it. Um, I don't have one. But also, I can't overclock it anyway, so what's the point? You know? Kind of makes me a little bit salty. Kind of goes against my sensibilities and kind of makes me sad. Let me uh, zoom in on myself a little bit there. There. So you guys aren't seeing quite as much of my mess behind me. I mean, then again, you might like the whiskey and stuff. Well, it's not you know, even going to be terrible for, uh, it's not even terrible for X, uh, for OC. It's locked. So you can't even OC it if you wanted to. Um, and that's actually what kind of pissed me off about it is like, why even bother putting out a CPU that you can't even do anything with? But then again, I mean, think about it. They've been doing that a lot lately with their second releases. They did that with the, uh, with the Threadripper Pro last year, um, or a couple of years ago. It was like two years ago now. Holy crap, Threadripper Pro is, what was that, like, end of, no, it was like mid, it was like mid, no, it was like early 2021, I want to say, so, yeah, about a year ago, let me see. No, it might have actually been earlier than that. Threadripper Pro 3000 series processors. When were they released? I'm actually looking this up right now. Uh, 2022. No, that's the 5000. March 8. No, that's five. That's 2000. April 21st, 2020. So almost exactly a year ago or two years ago. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait, am I looking at this right? No, I'm not. That's Ryzen. Threadripper Pro. 3945 through 3995. July 14th, 2020. It was OEM release. Okay, so I wasn't completely off. It was about almost... It's about a year and a half, two years ago. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really like... <sighs> yeah. All right, so... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too. I'm not too thrilled on that. And everybody's gonna say, "Oh, it's so much better." It's like, well, it's still locked. So that makes me sad. Did I post? Really, I automatically posted when I went live. Wow, I didn't know that. Kind of think you need to hook up the heater temporarily and show it. Powered up on stream. Oh God, you're just trying to kill me. All right, let's. Uh... Jesus. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me see if I how I, I'm going to do this. All right, hold on. Let me go with the. Okay, overhead view. Overhead view. All right. I'm not sure if you're even going to be able to see this. I'm going to have to move this over. Oh, no. Nope, wrong one. Wrong camera. All right. There. Switch this camera. All right. Let's go this way a little bit. Down. Nope. Down. I don't have a lot to work with here. All right. There. So I've got... I'm not sure if you can see. i got my connector right there. Let's get an I2C running. Actually, I'll just run the I2C directly from the controller. All right. Maybe I'll even throw up the EVC2 software. You said I'm about to notify when you're live. Yeah, but it also went to my Twitter, so I don't re I don't recall setting that up uh, to automatically do that on Twitter, so I'm kind of entertained by that. I don't recall that at all. Probably did that on one of my nights when I was dealing with some stuff. All right, so that's on there. Set this one up to my I2C here. This is an I2C two. Looks like. All right. Plug you into here. Oh my god. Alright. Let's put this over here. Let's see if I can warm my coffee with this. Because I know that's why he's doing this. He wants me to warm my coffee on it. Let's see if I got my Okay, that's in there. Good. Let's do this side. It's going to be a down. Is that down? Hold on. I want to not be an idiot for a second. Yeah, okay. It's like this. Okay. Good. Okay, so that's on. All right, let me get the... Let me get the... Okay, let me get my Elmore... Oh, that's KTH. I don't care about that. I want to see this. I'm going to turn this to off because I don't want it to heat yet. Okay, so I'm going to power on my stuff. I think it's this one. Yep, that was the one. Okay. If that's this one. Yep, and we're hot. Is that it? Let's monitor that. Is that this one? No, that's my other one. Okay. There we are. There's the Hot 300. Why is that one still blocked? Okay. So just to compare. Monitoring. Okay. It's not even on. Just set to 50, okay? This one's also set to 50. This one took about... 
what, probably 10 seconds to get up there. I'm not putting my hand on it. Don't even dare. Don't you dare. All right. So let's turn this on. Whoa. Oh, it's got lights. Oh, that's awesome. Dude. Holy shit. Did you guys see that zip up? That was instant. Oh my gosh. Dude. Ah, oh, Mr. ZFG. Thank you for the sub. Oh, hey, you were. How you doing, man? Okay, so let's take this up to 60. This is going to be instant again, isn't it? Oh, that one overshot a little bit there. That one overshot to about 67. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah. That one overshot a little bit, not nearly as much. Holy crap. Blender on Warzone. Ugh. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Center is not. It's definitely along the edges, though. So definitely where those... Uh, where it goes back and forth it's definitely warm so zone one is controlled oh i'm not even sharing oh my god i'm sorry guys i suck i wasn't even sharing out my evc2 screen hold on all right there we are now you guys can see it Let's actually switch the views. Let me control C this. Control C. Show and tell. Let's put this hit here. No, not that one. Yo. We make this window smaller. So I can make the text on this one bigger. Let's pull this one back. Right there. That's this one. Nope, in front of that one. There we are. Look at that. Okay, so watch this. Oh, it actually looks really good. Hey, actually, you did a pretty good job of centering that. That's pretty awesome. Oh, that's a little bit off. Whatever. Fuck it. Close enough. We're just, we're going to deal with it. Okay. So we'll check this out. So I'm going to set the set, uh, temperature to 70. Let's go to 80. Cause why not cook my, cook my desk, right? So let's set all these. Okay. Double check them. Look at those zoop up. Those ones are done. This one's working on it. So zone one's a little bit, takes a little bit longer, mostly because it's got more to cover because of the RAM. All right, so that one, so zone one takes longer, and I'm assuming zone one takes longer because it also has the memory on it. So it's got twice as long of a run. So it's got that and that to cover. This one's a lot more compact on that. So then we got, yeah, these are really hot. Actually, do I have my laser? Got a laser thermometer around here too. One second, guys. Is 
Well, I had a laser thermometer. I don't know what happened to it. Damn it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's warm. Oof, that's really warm. Okay, so let's take this down to 50. Fifty, fifty, ready. And everything's going to cool down now. Cool. I dig it. I dig it a lot, man. That, that's impressive. That, that was instant. But I could keep my coffee warm with this pretty, pretty darn easily. Actually, that's what I need. I need a coaster now. So you can't even see what I'm doing. Holy crap. Turn off the EVC2 really quick. Hold on. I need a coffee cup. I need a coaster that just goes right here, just an aluminum coaster to warm my coffee up in the morning. Actually, hold on one second. So this is a uh, sawmower. Need a coaster adapter. So I think that would uh, that work pretty darn good right there. I dig it. I dig it a lot, man. That's great. Good job. Very proud of you. All right, I'm gonna turn this thing off before I kill myself with it. I'm looking forward to doing some runs with that, man. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be fun. Ooh, temps drop fast too. I wish I had my laser thermometer so I could actually hit it, but you also need a thermal pad in between. Listen here, listen, I know I do. It's not the point. Hot witch version. Yeah. All right, good. Let's get that out of there. I'm going to leave you on there because I don't feel like disconnecting you. Put you back in here. I'm looking forward to hooking this up and doing some fun stuff with it. That's, that's great. Good job, Ben. Good freaking job. All right. Back in the box with you. Back to the box. Paster pad. <laughs> Oh, a thermal pad would be great. Anyway, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty thrilled. Oh my god, I forgot to turn that off too. There we are. Now I see me, and you see me too. Ain't it special? I love you guys. This is great. This has been this is super fun. I'm actually enjoying the hell out of this. So uh, yeah, talk to me, guys. What's going on? Oh, oh, yay. My 3D printer stuff actually shipped, so that's good. Good, good, good. My third ah. I have 200 followers, exactly. And I have only... I have 10 subscribers, and that makes me happy. Love you guys. This is great. Who's all on here, I wonder? 
If you have a PC and a CD drive, you make a cup holder tray now. I don't have, oh no, I do, my old PC. I could probably use my old, uh, I have an i5-2500K system from, it's like a Dell i5-2500K. It was like BTX format, terrible friggin' system that I got in, I want to say like 2009 or something like that. It was right before I moved to, it was a couple of years before I moved to Alabama to go work for Curse. And, uh, yeah, that definitely had a CD-ROM drive in it. And maybe it was 2007. I'm not sure. It was. No, it wasn't a 2500K. It was, uh, no, it was, no, the 2500K I got in 11. You're right. Cause I got that right before I moved. That's what it was. No, what did I have in the previous system? The previous system was a... Oh, it was the like 700 series i5? I want to say something like that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so the 20... It wasn't a 2500K, it was a 7... It was the I, What was the i5? I think it was like the first... First... Yeah, that was my second one. That was an ATX board... That was also a Dell, but it wasn't nearly as well built. So it'd be i5-700 series. Okay, that would have been... All right, so that would have been from... It would have been this one. Is there an arc on it? Yeah, i5-750, 750. 750. All right, here's the arc. Arc, 750, two, Q309, yes. Okay, so that was the one that was in that system. It was a BTX board. Uh, that's the one I had the 5770 in. I still have the system. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, that was a processor, four core, four thread. That's hot. Oh god! Oh, I'm going to watch that later. Awesome. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna take a quick break. Um, just, I'm just, I'm, and then we'll try to figure out what we're gonna do next and what we're gonna talk about, what we're gonna play around with. Maybe I'll show you some guys some stuff that I've picked up over the last couple of months and. I uh, talk about some projects I'm, I've got coming up. Um, I actually do need. I finally got the finally got the stuff in for most of my wife's compu uh, my wife's PC build, so I'm looking forward to actually starting that pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, let, we'll talk about that when I come back. So give me a few minutes, and I'll turn up the music, and you guys just enjoy yourself. Sit back, relax, and enjoy it.
I am back. Oh, image is mirrored. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Was it really? Gosh darn it. Let me fix that really quick. I thought it was right. Hold on. Let me take a look. No, it looks right. Yeah, it looks correct. What do you mean the image is mirrored? I mean, it was correct before, was it not? Yeah, that looks right. Demons. Who knows? All right. So, yeah, so uh, she uh, just went out there and... Uh, She's like, yeah, I just super glued my fingers. I was like, oh, great. What'd you do? Um, so went and got her some acetone and took care of the problem real quick. And looks fine. You know, she's fine now, but that was scary for her. She's never actually done anything like that. So it's kind of entertaining. Dog got one of the flip flops and she was trying to put it back together. So <sighs> let's see what else we got. I'm trying to think. So toys, 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 toys. Ooh, yeah, toys. Let's see if I can find it. Got... So I'm actually planning on setting up my gaming rig back here again so you guys can actually see that. That's actually going to be pretty sweet once that's done again. Let me uh, switch the camera. Yep, there it is. So I'm not sure if you guys can see behind me. I actually have... My old gaming rig back here. I have all my monitors still set up. I have no PC attached to it, though. So I'm actually planning on doing that here pretty soon and getting that set back up. So that's actually going to be fine. And that's going to be a good time, at least. Let's see. What else do I have going on? Um, I'd love to get the mount. I got the mount created. I showed you guys that already on stream here for a little bit. Um that right now those are just rgb lights i was going to be putting on the back of that once i actually get the wheels on it um i've got let me switch to this view here so i actually have this mount i created or actually just hacked up to be able to run my 6900 xt on juice so uh basically just shaved out the holes on there so i can actually so I have mounts in there now. These ones are tight. This one's tight. This one's not. So I just need to tighten this one up again in the right spot. And yeah, that'll be fun. Be able to do that. Um, outside of that, really not much new hardware wise. Oh, my work made me get a MacBook Pro. That was great. So I got one of the new, uh, yeah, M1, Mac, M1 Pro MacBook Pros, which are glorified Raspberry Pis. I won't lie. They're, they're all right. Yeah, that's all I have to say. All right. I'm trying to think, what else new toys? Got all the KTHs, got all that. Um, yeah. Let's see, do I have any cool stuff coming in the mail over the next couple of days? I'm trying to think. I don't think I do, unfortunately. Got pretty much all the hard tubing and the mod kits stuff for my wife's PC. So I'm actually going to be doing that pretty soon. That'll be a fun build. That's going to be, uh, that'll be pretty good. I actually got a good water block for it and stuff like that. The new big box. The new big box, yeah. What else do I got? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, that, that's really about it. I guess I guess I don't really have much uh, much else going on at this point in time. I mean, things are going well. Life's been going good. Uh, maybe I'll grab a beer and we could uh, figure out something. Maybe, I don't know, you guys want to play games or something? You guys want to do something silly? Have some fun? Um, not really feeling the LN2 tonight. I'm a little bit too tired to be in the right mind to pull that off, but... 
You can have a beer, maybe play some games, relax, stuff like that. It's up to you guys. I'll let you guys decide. We can figure stuff out from there. Unreal Tournament 2004. God. That's a time. I'll be damned. It was, it was reversed. That's weird that it actually did that. Not sure why it actually reversed it. I see that on screen on stream or see that in your direct message. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should be smart about it. Maybe we should call it here so I'm not exhausted tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I have to put a barn door on my wife's office. Um, and we have some, we're cleaning out the loft. We're cleaning up the hallway upstairs, getting all the stuff out of it and redoing that. Um, yeah. I think I've got a trip out to, I, I got a trip out east again on the, the week of the 24th. I'm not 100% sure whether or not that's going to happen. It's more so whether or not I can actually handle it again. I've been traveling so much lately. I did, in March, I did, uh, took the kids on vacation, then came back, immediately went to New York, and then came back, and then immediately went up to uh, Prescott for the Superstition Meadery uh, guild gathering that they had up there. And I was wiped for... I don't feel like I ever caught up on sleep from that. I was just exhausted. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Not much else is going on in the world. I'm looking forward. I got to resolder my Strix before we can play with that some more. Actually, I have to solder um, I2C onto the uh, my 6900 XT before we can play with that. I am not doing either of those on stream because I do not want you guys giving me crap about that. Oh, got a bike ski block block for the Formula OC 6900 XT. Yeah, when you get that in, uh, let me know how that works out because I'm actually considering doing something similar. Um, it's just a matter of trying to figure out uh, if it's if it doesn't suck and if it's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, let me know how that works out though. I'm actually kind of interested to see uh, to to see how that works out. Yeah, let me grab a beer or something. Yeah. Let's make this a good night. Let's see, what do I want to drink tonight? Figure out something. Give me one second. Let me mute this. All right, I got a beer. I got a beer. It's going to be a good beer. So this beer is Dark Rituals. It's a barley wine stout blend. Bourbon barrel aged high, bourbon barrel aged high, ca, uh, high gravity barley wine blended with bourbon barrel aged imperial rice stout. Let's see. Says thirteen point one three percent ABV. This is gonna be a tasty one, though. 
Actually, I picked up a few of these and been saving them. Been saving them for you guys. I haven't really been drinking the thick beers lately. Actually, I've been drinking a lot more. Uh, I've been drinking a lot more of uh, more whiskey lately. I uh, actually found picklebacks. Somebody introduced me to those, which I think is the most amazing way to, uh, which I found to be kind of the most amazing way to drink, uh, drink whiskey. I mean, it's it just, or just any shot, to be honest. I'm not a real shot person at all. Like, it's just not my thing. But yeah, here, I'll show off the bottle so you guys can see it. This is a pretty, pretty bottle. Got this one a couple of months ago, though. Just kind of been saving it. It's been sitting in my fridge. Anyway, do the overhead pour for you guys so you guys can see it. All right, good. Hmm. Not sure if you guys can see it, but that's a thick boy. That's going to be a good one. Anyway, cheers to you guys. Thank you guys for showing up. I really appreciate it. Always. You guys are always amazing to me. You guys always treat me well. I have nothing but good things to say about you all. Thank you so much. Um, I am back. I am doing this again next week. Might actually try to get a stream in tomorrow. Not 100% sure. But I will definitely be doing a stream next week um, at the early, uh, at the latest. Like I'll definitely be doing my Friday night streams. I'm looking forward to doing this again on a regular basis. Thank you, and this is all. This is to you, all of you. Oh. I love barley wine. I love stouts. This is a perfect mix of both. It's got that sweetness. It's got that sweetness of the barley wine. It's got that kind of bite of the stout. It's kind of chocolatey. Coconut. A lot of coconut, actually. Mm. Yeah, a lot of coconut. Um, berries, almost. Like a... Like almost like a like a raspberry or a blueberry kind of mash, almost kind of taste, but not like overbearing, I guess. No, it's actually quite quite good. I'm actually really enjoying that. I'm trying to see if there's anything about the notes on the bottle. I'm not really seeing anything though. But I picked this one up a while ago. I can't remember. Yeah, definitely a good beer. So yeah. It's good to always good to see you, man. It's always good to see you guys too, man. I am glad to be back. Um, oh, other news. Um, I'm not sure if you guys already know this. I know we have a lot of folks in common. Uh, Bearded Hardware is back. He is actually streaming again. Uh, he's been streaming so far. He's streamed three times this week, maybe four times this week, over on uh, over on Twitch. He's trying to get a Twitch following over there. He's uh, trying to get partner over there. So feel free to uh, drop him a follow. When he's online, feel free to watch him. Uh, he's streaming pretty much every day around, um, I'm not sure what time he starts. I think he starts around noon, uh, noon Pacific. So probably around three o'clock Eastern. Not a hundred percent on that, but give him a follow, give him a, and, uh, and, uh, do yourself a favor. And, uh, he's, he's a good guy. He is. And I, I'm glad he's back. He deserved that. Yeah. 1400 EST. Okay. So he started at 11, 11 pacific time so yeah he is a great guy he is worth watching enjoy uh and, and give him as much love he need i'm so glad he's back i'm looking forward to doing some collaboration with him in the future if he actually wants to or whatever but like i, I i'm so glad i mean more than anything i'm just happy he's he's back and he's in a good place talk to him about it you know he he's had he had another kid he's doing great um i'm super super happy for him so yeah, it's, it's, it's really awesome. That he's back. Other than that, I'm not quite sure what to talk about. Um, I was really excited to hear about that. Um, Linus tech tips put out one of the stupidest videos I've ever seen when it comes to uh, doing water cooling, uh, 
I'm not sure if you guys, I'll, I'll link that in chat so you guys can see that, but it was, uh, it was absolutely idiotic, but absolutely hilarious too. I'll actually link that in chat. Just give me a second. They actually hooked up their, uh, they actually hooked it up to a, a gas powered pump. They actually, uh, to water cool their system. It was, uh, it was very entertaining. I'm pretty sure it's out. Let me find this. Yes, it is. It's right here. Let me... Oh yeah. But, uh, so for cool aid yeah, this is, this is absolutely hilarious. Um, actually, you know what? Why don't we just watch the video so you guys can see this? I, I, I don't think it's going to be a problem for me to show the video. Let me kill the audio really quick on my, on this and share this out. Cause it was, it was absolutely freaking hilarious. Yeah, let me do that really quick. All right, so I have this one. There we are. Let me close all these here. Yeah, this is going to be worth watching. You guys will enjoy the hell out of this. Uh, let me check the audio really quick. Yes. All right. <laughs> oh hold on let me find it oh that's not it oh show and tell that's what I want Oh, you want a breakdown? Okay. Here's my breakdown for this. This is the stupidest idea ever and they know it and it's just going to be ridiculous and, and, and fun. Um, yeah, it's the, like the, the, the amount of power that they're going to be pushing through this damn thing is just going to be ridiculous on top of that. They're using a gas pump. So it's not like we're going to have any issues with like electrical or anything. This is just friggin' stupid and I love everything about it. Like this just gives me so much joy. That's that. That's the breakdown. That's it. That's that's the story. That's that's uh, that's all of it. I don't know what else to say, man. This is just so stupid, and I love everything about it. I like it in space, right? Yeah, good enough. Screw it. It's close enough. All right, let's start this back up. So yeah, that's the breakdown. Um, there is nothing smart about what they're doing. There is nothing good about what they're doing. Everything is being done half-assed in the best way possible, and I will gladly break this down. It's just ridiculous. I love it. I absolutely friggin' love it. It is a lawnmower engine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, you put in the hole that says no oil. Yeah. I'm actually impressed he could juggle. Won't lie. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. That makes sense. There's a lot of gunk floating in it. Yeah, Jamie took a filter through it as well and kind of cleaned it out. It didn't work very well. The first thing we have to do is just realize the audio was turned off on the stream uh, for the VOD. I just actually want to. I actually want to keep that in. This is good safety right here. You should always have your fuel stored a safe distance away from anything that could possibly spark. Yeah, Jamie suggested that we should get some gasoline on the hot exhaust that's right beside it. No heat. Ah, yes. Prime. Do we have a little like? pump a doodle for priming it i really don't know if this is the way to prime it alex i watched a couple of youtube videos and they said that this is the way to do it okay priming means getting the water from here to the actual inlet of the pump because you run this bad boy dry you're not gonna like it no matter how much choke you apply <laughs> okay this never happens to me <laughs> it always happens <laughs> oh my god Why don't they just take the freaking? I don't understand why the hell they're doing it that way, but <laughs> I mean, they're doing it for lulls. It's a hundred percent for lulls. Jesus Christ. There's no way this is going to end well. This is how you explode a PC, man. I love everything about this, though. This PC is going to... Well, it's already dead, so it can't not survive. But, you know, the fittings that are in here, I don't know if they're going to be up for the task. We do have these ones from Alpha Cool that have little metal barbs in them that should be fine, but we only... Should I just be the narrator and say they're probably, they're definitely not going to be up for the task? I'm just, I'll, I'll just do the Morgan Freeman. <laughs> they're not going to be up for the task. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> was it something like 75 PSI or some shit like that? Yeah, I wonder why it's leaking. Yeah. Oh my God, that's amazing. Okay. I'm going to keep this going. I'll be right back. Something's back here leaking or something. Is this radiator leaking? I think there is a fitting on the bottom of it. That's definitely where it was coming out of. Okay, let's get that tightened down. Whoa, this just slipped off too. These compressions are not the right size for this tubing. I was hoping it would blow off when we turned the thing on. Well, it did. You booby trapped it. Which makes me wonder how often he screws me over like that. Do you think we should switch to our higher flow rate ID barb over here? I kind of feel like we should. Yeah, maybe. Let's do that. What are you doing? What the crap? Did you see this play here? Oh yeah, that's kind of weird. We didn't learn anything. There's a lot of vibration. Um, here. Oh, the thing fell out. Oh, this is going really well. Ah. Why is it so bad? You know what? It's designed for a hose. Something that's supposed to have a lip around that. I don't think the flow rate is much faster. Anyway. Jesus Christ. It's 
just like out of everything. Why is there so little like us? <laughs> I think the flow meter is actually the problem. I think it's the flow meter and the pump. So if I were looking at this, honestly, the number one problem, the number two problems that they're having, the two problems that they're probably having is number one, probably the flow meter. And number two, I don't think they actually took the pump out. So, uh, they probably still have the pump in there, which is probably actually slowing down the, uh, slowing it down as it's trying to rev it up. That's my theory. This is amazing. Um, this is inspiring me to do stupid shit. I, I, and that's a bad idea. Okay. This is inspiring me to do new and unique, stupid things. It's not like you need more mid oil in the two stroke. It's not a two stroke. It's actually just a normal engine. That was the funny part. I love everything about this. All right. Oh, that sleeper PC was so sexy too. Oh, I love that thing. Actually, time to pull the ripcord. This is my favorite PC I've ever built in the five years I've been here. I, um, the D5 that's in here, the like normal computer water cooling pump, is having absolutely no trouble pumping through our gas powered pump. So we should disconnect that pump. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I don't know if we can. Really, Alan? Like, I know that you have pretty small hands, but like. Oh, well. <coughs> He has Trump hands. I want to see some real good performance here. Let's do Fermart. Let's also oh, my God. Afterburner. We can probably overclock it a bit. I don't think that'll be necessary, Alex. No, but this is the shunt modded GPU. We can pull it. Yes, that shunt modded GPU. If you watched my last video last month, live, you saw me make all fun. I mean, I, I loved what they did, but... Good lord. Time to wash. God, it stinks. Where's the exhaust? Oh, I'm right next to it. <laughs> the lowest setting here, I'd say our gas pump is actually not materially different from a normal water cooling pump. Looking at the flow meter, she ain't really doing that much. How's our GPU temps looking? 42.8 degrees. Jesus okay, Christ. That's pretty low considering we're running Fermark, a stress test. How many watts are we drawing? So about 600 watts right now. This is a really good water block. Well, maybe I should run Fermark at a higher rep. You mean a really good water block that they should have used last time? I'll say it. If they would have used this one last time, they probably would have actually broke some records. Yes. Ah, there we go, 370. So that's a bit over 700 watts. And we're up to 44 and a half degrees. Jesus the Christ. question that remains is, by cranking this sucker up, and increasing our flow rate to the point we're at risk of blowing our tubes off our fittings, will we get a performance benefit? Like me, do you feel as if your whole life led you to this moment? Yes. Okay, we ready? Yep. Oh, what are we at? We dropped one and a half degrees. Yeah! I'm giving her more! Oh, that was it! Oh, shit! Wow, it's really going, though, hey? Jesus. Dinosaurs go brr. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the air bubbles going through that. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god, they tighten the throttle. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Think about the pressure they've got nothing. Oh the screen's starting to flash. Oh my god, they're burning out the engine. Oh my god. 
unbelievable. I think that D5 pump might be dead. She's uh, <coughs> not moving. No signs of life. Wait. <laughs> oh, she's trying something. Oh, God, you hear it? Let's get this shut down. Oh, heck yeah. I think she's back. Oh, yeah. There all we right, go. That's awesome. You're all right. She's alive. A really important thing to note about the performance we saw, though, Jesus is that Christ. we were using pre-cooled water. So we didn't have to deal with all the extra heat that a gas-powered pump would be dumping into our loop. We got all the benefit of fast-flowing water, but none of the drawbacks. We so, yeah, fucking science. So one of the problems that I see is the fact that now they're going to have to break all that shit down and get all those, like, chunks of, like, leaves and stuff that were in that bat in the bucket out of the out of every single thing that they put through that loop that is going to be so nasty and it's going to grow and it's just going to be awful i mean you're going to have bacteria built up in there forever and it's so sad because now they're going to have to tear apart that amazing sleeper build they did i mean for science of course i think it goes without saying wouldn't recommend oh KiwiCo is a monthly subscription service to help introduce and make STEM topics fun and engaging for kids of all ages. Yeah, nobody cares about the ads. Oh my god. So what do you guys think? I'm trying to think, is there any other interesting ones I saw recently? Nah, that's that's about it for me. But god damn, that was funny. I enjoyed the hell out of that. How many people will watch that? Uh well let's see how many views they have right now. Oh Jesus. Oh, oh, accidentally started back up again. Uh so right now they're up to one point nine one nine one million views on that. 1.2 million people have watched that video. 1.2 million. This went up yesterday. I love it. I love everything about it. I kind of want to do it. Hook it up to a pressure washer. <laughs> so all of them, all of the views, and I'm only allowed half a beverage right now. Why only half a beverage right now? Bending outward. Got to drive yet tonight. Oh, that sucks. God damn. That is, that is some quality shit. Let's see. What else? What other videos we got? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if there's any other stupid. Do you guys have any other stupid videos out there that you guys want to watch? And have us go through? Because I love this kind of stuff. I really do. Let's see, what else is out there? Yeah, I'm down to watch pretty much anything you guys want to. I mean, I'm probably going to have to cut this before I upload the VOD, unfortunately, guys. But, you know, uh, just for copyright and stuff like that, I don't want to get nailed, obviously. But um, I would love to, if you guys have any other videos or anything you guys want me to, like, walk through and, like, I am more than willing to look, uh, watch him. Anybody? Nothing? Damn it. Come on. Find me a thing. Find me a thing.
Oh, you could watch Heat the Board. Let me find Heat the Board. Just because that is one of my favorite videos of all time. Yeah, I'm going to find that. Hold on. Yeah, let me find that. That's going to be fun. Most of what I watch is military. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a video for you guys. I got a video for you guys. Yeah. I got a video. Ladies and gentlemen, I love this one. I love I, I love Jay's two cents. I think they're cool. I think I think Jay's awesome. I've never actually met him in person, but I love what he does for the community. I love the fact that he actually takes care of small streamers. I absolutely love that. And I love Lewis Rossman. They're both absolutely hilarious. I'd love to do anything. I'd love to do work with both of them. But this is one of the funniest reaction videos I've ever seen in my life. All right. Let's see what we can watch tonight. So relax. Calm down. Ready to go to bed. It's on my Amtrak trip tomorrow. Oh, look. Someone looking to fix their own GPU. This is the graphics card that I broke. This is the thing I broke off of it. And yes, I contacted um, Lewis Rossman's guys and they gave me a price to quote to fix it. And it's actually a really good quote. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can't fix it myself today. All right, let's see how this goes. I think Shane told him 50 bucks if it's straightforward and just a piece that fell off. With graphics cards, we don't usually fix these because I have no schematics, no diagrams, no board views, no parts. We're a no-fix, no-fee business, so if we can't fix it, we don't charge you. And when there's such a low chance of me fixing it, because I don't even know the name of what you knocked off or what it is or what the value of it is or where to get it, because there's no documentation, the chances of fixing it are pretty low, so we usually don't do that. But if you knocked off a component, you know what it is, and I can figure out the orientation that it's supposed to go, then usually it's just 50 bucks to, to reattach it. And that is, I believe, what we, we quoted here. But let's see. Uh, I, I'm, I'm always interested in watching people's uh, repair attempts at stuff, and this could be fun. Today's video is sponsored by Audible, and they're huge. Non Got a deal about stuff. Best part. They're massive. Audible.com. I wish I could get my viewers to watch one of that. Because of the fact that it was. Um, and liquid metal sitting on there, which messed up some of this art. For like months. A long time, yeah. But, you know, Steve told me he left stuff he left it on for a year before he didn't have any problems. So I thought we were in the clear, but... All right, so one of the things here, I remember doing a video a few years ago, and I was so ignorant with this. I was lo looking at this video card somebody brought in to get fixed and thinking, wow, they solder this like crap. I can't believe it leaves the factory this way. And since I had I haven't overclocked anything like over 12 years, I just don't have the time or inclination to, to bother with it. I didn't know that the way people volt mod now or you know modify the cards is to, instead of solder, use this liquid metal stuff. Because this gallium stuff, it eats away at the solder and just destroys everything. It's I, I thought the card was manufactured like shit. I didn't know that the the customer who brought it to me was lying about not having fuck with it themselves because they did fuck with it themselves, obviously <laughs> putting that liquid metal shit on it. Yeah, they did. But, Liquid metal that gallium stuff does it eats away at the solder and just destroys it all. And it does terrible things to the board, as you can see from an old video I did. Now, why do people do this? The reason people do this is to get around a current sensing circuit. So current sensing is the way that this card is going to tell how much power certain parts of it are using. And MacBooks have current sensing circuits as well. How much power is the CPU using? How much power is the GPU using? How much power is PPBush D3 Hot using? The reason for having a current sensing circuit is so that you can scale things down if it's using seemingly too much. So if the battery charging circuit it sees that it's using 40 watts, keep going. If it reads the battery charging circuit is using 2,000 watts, the MacBook's probably on fire. Turn it off. And the way that the circuit can tell how much current a specific piece is using is by having a current sense resistor in between the source of power and the destination for that power. It's kind of like having your hand in a stream. Now, the current sense resistor, you're going to have two sides of it, and there's going to be a voltage drop that is proportional to the amount of current the system is using. 
So if it's 17 volts on one side of the resistor and 16.9999999 volts in the other, the system's going to think, okay, that's barely any voltage drop. It's not using a lot of current. It's fine. Whereas if it sees 17 volts on one side of the current sense resistor and like 12 volts on the other side, it's going to think, holy crap, it's using thousands of watts. Turn that off so people don't die of this graphics card fire or whatever, something like that. Now, what people are doing here is they're trying to squeeze more out of their card when they overclock. And I imagine what they're doing is they're trying to trick the card into thinking it's using less power than it is. So remember, the card thinks it's using more power when there's a larger voltage drop across the, res the shunt resistor. So if you just jump her over it with a wire, there's not going to be any voltage drop from one side to the other. Therefore, the card is going to think it's probably using zero watts of power. And it's just going to let you keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it, which you probably... can do if you have proper cooling i was muted holy crap okay so i was gonna say nvidia cards do not do that nvidia cards when they actually sense that what they do is they just drop down to the base uh base voltage they don't actually and that's it they don't actually uh, they don't actually allow it to go uh they don't actually allow it to le read at zero watts and then start going up at least the newer ones do at least the ampere cards definitely don't um i tried when i originally tried shunt modding it I tried doing that. It did not work. It just dropped down to like 400. I want to say it was like 400 megahertz and just stuck there. And that was all I could do. That's it. That's the sentence. You don't mind taking some time, you know, some uh, lifespan away from the chip. Which a lot of Dude, <laughs> taking some lifespan away from the chip. Well, HOF OC Lab 3090 has zero ohm jumpers, don't they? Yes, they do. Um... As, yes, they do, uh, but the thing is, they're actually built to not uh, react to that, so it'll take basically whatever you throw at it. That's what makes them so good. The overclockers don't. Now, the right way to do this would be putting a resistor... Uh, usually what I like to do is put a resistor in parallel, and I did this with a bike controller. So this way, you have the resistance, which means that there's going to be probably less of, a, less of a drop. Or what you could do is you could just put a wire over it which is a bit more ghetto you know you don't you're not really you don't get really gradients of how much you're modifying it that way it's just you're bypassing the circuit altogether which i usually wouldn't recommend but you could put a wire around it you could put a solder blob over it these are all ways to do it which even if they're kind of ghetto will we'll get you what you're looking for Whereas On that comment, I actually know one person. Uh, so, okay, I was surprised when I saw PCB with uh, that video would approve it. Um, I think that uh, Galax is kind of a special case. I don't know of anybody else that uses zero ohm jumpers. Maybe uh, I, I've never seen a Kingpin up close, um, so I don't know if they use zero ohm jumpers. But honestly, it's Galax. They can get away with whatever the fuck they want to. Let's not kid ourselves. It's it's just the way they are. This liquid metal thing, it literally, it just winds up destroying your board entirely. I would not recommend doing it. I, I think it would have been fine if I hadn't accidentally pried on it. I think the prying on it, and Lewis Rossman already talked about how terrible these S these SMDs are all soldered down. He has a whole I'm still so ashamed of that video because I really, I was blaming NVIDIA for the cards rather than the customer because I was ignorant of the overclocking and video card thing and also... The customer told me that, you know, I didn't mess with this card at all, but I forgot the primary rule. Dr. House talks about every single episode, everyone lies. Whole video about it, actually, I watched it. Um, it was, it's, it's a combination of, like, the gallium effect plus um, the, the way I was trying to clean it by scraping it. It caught the end and popped it off. So it probably would not have broken off, and it would be just fine, just like the other one, had I not done a terrible way of cleaning it. I highly recommend sending it to a professional to get it fixed. I'm not a professional. I'm going to try and fix it, though, because that's... It's a shunt mod. It's just a shunt resistor. They're not that hard to replace. They're really not. I mean, I, I know pretty much everyone in this channel has shunt modded a system. I mean, that that's here right now. I mean, at least... They, they've shunt modded at least one card in their life. And it's not it's not nearly as complicated as he's making it out to be. It's fine that, you know, he's doing it to learn and stuff like that, but it's not that hard. It's really, really not that hard. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, I appreciate, I actually appreciate the fact he actually took the time to do this 
because his soldering skills are on par with um, if I went and bought it, just a normal soldering iron, like just a soldering iron off this, you know, instead of buying like an actual decent kit, it's pretty much how mine would turn out too. It would look like, it would look like ass too, and probably take me this long. Plus those little shunt resistors are such a pain in the ass to get right on there. And I am not good at this stuff, so. That's what this channel is all about, but I'm not going to awesome. jump right into it. I am going to see if our broken, we have a lot of broken graphics cards around here, don't we? <laughs> Our, our, bro our broken 9800 GTX Plus, I'm going to see if this has, it should have a resistor on the other side. There's none on the back. I'm going to practice on this card because we already broke it. And I'm doing that with my trusty eye fixer. Also, too. Eye fixer. The only thing that's probably right for this job is the iFixit, honestly, and tearing down the graphics card because I'm using this guy. Not, not the right soldering iron. Let oh me explain. No. <laughs> <laughs> all of you out there following this channel are electrical engineers and do this stuff for a living. <laughs> You've all reached out to me. And trust me, I, I am very oh good of all of you saying just send the card and some money to ship it back and they'll and you'll fix it. And I trust that all of you would send me back a $2,500 graphics card when I send to someone that I, I don't know. That's besides the point. It's <laughs> a rare opportunity where I get to do something for the first time ever on this channel that I've never done before. So I'm going to be doing it the wrong way for a couple of reasons. One, as much as I've been researching, I can't seem to find any definitive tutorials on how to do it the right way. So I'm going to do it the way I sort of think I should. The other thing, too, is I, I think this is also wrong. very indicative of what a lot of people out there in the general public would do. They'd be like, oh, I broke that off. I need to go... I need to get a soldering iron. I need to solder that back. I don't even need to comment. Lewis does the work for me here. I don't know. So we've got a 25 watt up to 750F. I don't know if that's right. I mean, there were other ones that are like 60 watts and like 900 degrees. So I don't know. Um, My micro pencil is more powerful. So this is in 2020. There wasn't a lot of shunt mod resistor. Uh, there wasn't a lot of shunt mods going on back then. Keep that in mind. This is March of 2020. He probably did the original video back in... 2019 or yeah it's probably mid to late 2019 uh, as he did this for his star wars build if i recall correctly that was what the the case he was doing it was uh based off the uh corsair what's their big tower case that they did the really cool like uh aio pc that they did and he basically he modded one of those and then threw a uh he threw the titan in it but it had the bad shunt mod it had the bad shunt resistor on it and so it wasn't working for him so, yeah, there wasn't a lot of tutorials back then. I mean, once Ampere came out on the scene, like, the shunt modding became much, much more popular. So, keep in mind the times. I mean, basically, people were just just bridging it and calling it a day because that's really all you needed to do. Nobody was actually putting real resistors on there. So, keep that in mind that he when he says that. What I'm doing. But many of you might agree that I don't know what I'm doing with anything. And to that, that's fine. But I think, oh. I hear that all the time. You do you, Jay. <laughs> oh my goodness, the grace. <laughs> um, I did try and- I hate that packaging too, I don't blame you. And fine, and I, and I actually, I'm not a noob to soldering. Um, I just don't have any of my actual decent soldering stuff here. I also have some of my really fine um, solder somewhere that's not here and i couldn't find any when i went to lowe's which is undoubtedly the worst place to buy soldering stuff from i used to get all my stuff i needed from i got fired from lowe's home delivery in <laughs> 2006 oh my god i got sick i had a 103 fever and i took two days off from work i remember that was the first job i got after Modell sporting goods i was making $6.90.5, oh nine zero, $6.905 dollars an hour at Modell's, because uh, if, you, if you, I remember that, because uh, if you're in the union, you get a 17.5 cent raise, which is counter, wait, raise, which is counteracted by the, the union dues, and I remember thinking, like, I doubled my salary, yes! I never felt so rich as I did working for Lowe's Home Delivery <laughs> until I got fired for getting a fever. From Radio Shack, we all know what happened there. 
So for starters, let me go ahead and get this card cooler off and see if there's an SMB on the other side of this. If there's not, I'm just going to start going around the shelf to find a graphics card that I don't mind mutilating to crack this on. So the tip that came on the soldering iron is a little too big for what we want to do, I think. So I'm this hurts my heart. Using my drill, like a lathe, to try and make it more pointy. No, stop that. Buy the right tip. <laughs> Why are you using conical? This is the one I have to replace right here. Oh, and no, you you're using conical. individual pads on each no. side with that divide down the middle. No. So I can't... <laughs> down, that conical tips suck. Megahertz. <laughs> bridging where it shouldn't be. So I've got to put... a a little bit of solder there, and probably a tiny bit there, and on both sides, and then heat up the, the uh, resistor and smoosh it down. But smoosh? I don't have any on this card, so allow me to crack this. All right, well. Oh, Jesus. Setting it? Yeah, because that other card is not, it's not working very well. All right, so there is solder. There is some solder still on there. Yeah, you're just going to put some solder on top, then you then wick it off because that's all junk anyway. What? <laughs> Why aren't you touching the No, no, you're not, you have to touch the soldering iron to the pad. Well, stop, stop. Okay, I think it's, no, it's still not touching the board. On the board. It's just like... Okay. Solder like the pads and hot air it. Why aren't you touching the pad on the board? The, the pad on the board wants heat. Stop, stop. <laughs> Really easy. <laughs> it wasn't soldered on. I was getting it. What do you mean stick? It's supposed to be soldered. Oh, I love this. What the fuck you think this is Elmer's glue? <laughs> You'd probably be better off with Elmer's glue. Heat the board! <laughs> What I am kind of worried may have happened here is it might now be touching, like it might be bridging those two pads together or whatever, and now it's gonna so just it's supposed to be bridged. lock itself because now it's Settlement. not on there properly. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Because I just know I did a terrible job at soldering that. There's no possible way that that could work. Because that's the ugliest part. I, I don't know what kind of detail the camera was picking up. It's pretty bad. What solder? I'm almost no positive solder it's bridging where it should be. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I know for a fact. Bridge the resistance the, to the if board, that please. Area bridges <laughs> and it sees no resistance, then it's going to just immediately clock down to 300. That's what it does. That's why we could pop off those resistors and the card would work. It would just go down to 300 because that's exactly what Derb Bauer was saying when they tried to like when they soldered wires across it and stuff to, to bypass the resistor which i guess used to work in the olden days like i feel like this card's also just one jolt from like that little piece going bloop and falling so i have a question so if it worked with so if it it, it worked with gallium but it did not work with a wire why? Why wouldn't it work with gallium but not work with the wire? Is it because there's actually some electrical resistance with gallium? That's a question I have on that on, on that comment there. That's why I want to. That's why I want to. Well, I guess I could super glue it too. I got some of that, but that's why I want to do hot glue on it. No, <laughs> no glue. And then send it to Lewis Ross and be like, hey, Empty the think? glue! Tell me what you think of my repair. Do not touch the glue! Everyone should have the right to repair if they know they're going to do it. Oh, that's fine. Ah, we're fine. Dude, it's at 1,350 megahertz already. Because I have it set to the, the advance of the... Prefer, prefer, demand, prefer, <laughs> performance automatically goes to 1350. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. 
Heat the glue. Heat the board. No freaking way. 1935, 1950. Okay, let me max power limit. There's 2040. There's 2070. 54C. It's, not there. it's just got the 28. <laughs> double cooler on there. Spent three hours today on <laughs> three MacBooks that all had dead CPUs. I ran all my jumper wires properly. <laughs> I replaced my CD3215s. <laughs> I got rid of all the corrosion by my TPS51980. I fixed the backlight circuit. I removed the corrosion under the CPU and by the CPU vCore MOSFET. I turned PPBus G3 hot into PP vCore SOCPU. And it was brain dead. And <laughs> I just took a fucking resistor and pushed on it. And <laughs> $2,500 graphics card works? And this guy just takes a resistor and just taps on it onto the board. It's not even soldered. It's not even connected. And it works. Not only does it work, but it overclocks. I could spend five hours fixing a MacBook. It barely works properly at its stock clock. This is not fair. I know what Paul feels like when he comes in to see his queue. Like, well, what am I doing wrong here? Is it that I don't have Audible as a sponsor? What do I need to do for my queue to be this easy? 1.036 <laughs> millivolts. So our 1,037 no, millivolts. Not 7, fair. 7,000 hertz on the memory. That's the ugliest solder job. Oh my God. It's not, not a solder job. <laughs> on the card, it wouldn't go beak and fall off. You Dude, stabbed the resistor onto the, the board. I think we could have fixed it. I'm soldering it at all. <laughs> I feel like I you did not just, like, solder it. Like, you bastard. Super glue, or, you you know, lucky like, bastard. Super glue, hot glue, and just would have been fine. As long as it's making connection, it may not be the greatest connection, but as long as it's making connection, it works. It's, it's the levitate. wrong iron. It's the wrong, <laughs> it's the wrong technique. <laughs> I filed down the Don't tip because the solder. tip was too big. That's innocent solder. It cost me $19 because I used the solder that came with it. Oh my god. It stinks in here because it's the wrong solder. I spent more than 20 bucks even, on the two CD3215s well, today. I wasted it on a board with a dead it CPU. It works. I love this so much. Put it back on the shelf. <laughs> I got to super glue it still. Or I can think super stop, glue. I gotta stop. glue it. Empty the glue. Oh, this is gross. Empty the glue, you madman. <laughs> Show me the glue. Do not zoom in on his face. I want to see what he's doing with his hands. He's. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> no! no! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> ah! I just love the contrast of levels of technology between that die and that. <laughs> oh. uh, for a second, Phil. Listen. Here's the moral of the story. Oh my god. Yes, people link me there to are this. people that can fix this. <laughs> I could have sent this to someone to fix. But I was curious, could I do it? Using all the wrong stuff. Oh, look, it's a Gorilla Glue glue gun. This is doctored. It's a Weller. <laughs> this is doctored. soldering iron you could freaking buy. The card yes. was swapped out. Anyone that is oh, triggered by this video is saying, oh my god, Jay, I'm an that electronics that engineer, this. and I'm so all triggered by you. this. You, you know who you are. I'm not saying this is the way to do it. This is the this way is I just wanted to see troll. if I could. And I did. Five I mean, star troll. like the army says, if it's a dumb idea but it works, it's not a dumb idea. So... Jay just did to me what Sonny does to Tesla fans. Oh my god. Has anybody seen this video that Sonny did regarding Teslas and the range on the Tesla and what the numbers and the letters mean on the back of the Tesla? Mm. You should watch Sonny's stuff because it's pretty funny. But what Sonny did to Tesla fanboys, and you could see if you read the Reddit thread, it's fucking hysterical. Like the, for the best part about what Sonny was doing is that he's clearly trolling. He's clearly 110% trolling. But then people take him seriously and they lose their mind while he's laughing. And he's laughing. I can tell. Mm. He's going to be laughing. There's three seconds left in this video, but that's going to be Oh, laughing. my God. Mm. Well done, Jay. Well done. Oh, my God. The first process reminds me of something. <laughs> it's finally here. Oh, God, no, 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 no. God, no. No, we're not watching that. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. I think we're done. Heat the board! Heat the fucking board! I love that. It's just so funny. I love that. Oh, my God. It's, it's probably one of my favorite videos of all time, guys. All right. So I'm going to see who else is out there. I'm going to send this to somebody else. Maybe I'll hang out with that person, depending on who it is. 
Let's see who's playing. Who's screwing around? Oh, I was hoping. Damn, I actually have to go on Twitch and find out who's playing, who's up and doing stuff. Lewis versus Linus cage match. Let me see who's actually online that I can actually send us to really quick. Uh, Kitty's actually playing. She's playing Sea of Thieves. Yeah, let's do that. I'll send you over there. Yeah. I mean, Lewis works out like every single friggin' day. So, all right, let's go over. I'm going to send you guys over to go hang out with Kitty. She's a good friend of mine. Be nice to her. Be kind. Have fun. I love you all. Have a wonderful night. Enjoy yourselves. And bye-bye. Eight, 10, 11, 12. All right, we're raiding. We are raiding with 11. Let's go.